County Sheriff's Office. Officers detained four individuals, two of whom were placed under arrest. Officers conducted a methodical search of the campus, and thankfully, there were no reported injuries. Evidence of a shooting was recovered, including a handgun. The shooting did occur here on the Skyline campus. As I mentioned, thankfully, no one was injured. A criminal investigations division call out was initiated. Anyone with information about this shooting can call 510-238-3336. I'll say that again. It's 510-238-3336 to talk to an investigator. I want to thank the Skyline High School staff who were extremely helpful in keeping students safe until the campus could be cleared and the students released from campus. Give us one second, we'll let John speak real quick and then we'll open up for questions. So I'm not saying anything about the investigation, but I will say that uh, I want to send hey, John, a thanks. Can you just raise that up for us? Raise, raise it up higher. There you go. Better. Yeah. Okay. I just want to say thank you from Oakland Unified School District and from Skyline High School uh, to Oakland Police, Alameda County Sheriff's, California Highway Patrol for responding so quickly and getting us secure. Good afternoon. I'm Karina Nova live in the ABC 7 newsroom, and we are. Uh, on a live stream right now and we broke in to give you an update after uh, there was a shooting and uh, lockdown at Skyline High School. Um, we are getting more information right now uh, from police and officials. So let's go ahead and listen in. i sure that everything was, was kept calm on campus uh, and that we were able to allow the police to get in what they need to do, do what they need to do to uh, secure the campus. So everybody did what they needed to do today and we thank them for it. Uh, of course, this is all a product of something that, that has been happening far too much in our community, far too much in our world right now, and it needs to stop. We at Oakland Unified, we at Oakland Unified School District absolutely call on everybody to stop engaging in violence in all its forms. Whatever the conflict that you might have, whether it's in the city or anywhere else, it's not worth the consequences. So please, please stop. That's all I'm going to say right now. We'll answer questions. Again. All right, guys, again, it's limited information that the captain can speak about right now because it's an ongoing investigation, but we'll open up for a few questions. We're not going to be releasing any more information about the four individuals who were detained or the two who were arrested. Could you describe where on the campus, like in front of what building and such? And also, uh, it sounds like from the students, it happened while many of them were changing classes. Is that the case? It happened at 1130. I'm not sure what was going on on campus at that time. The location was, was on campus. That's what we're going to verify, but I'm not going to give more details about the exact location. Captain, how would a student get a gun onto the campus? There's only one entrance here, from what I understand, and a booth. Is that easy for students to bring weapons on campus, or what protocols are in place? I think I'll let uh, Mr. Sasaki, Sasaki that answer that question, but I'll, I'll answer any more questions you have for me. Was the weapon found on the people who were detained or somewhere else on the campus? We did find a handgun. It was recovered. I'm not going to give more details about how that was recovered. We don't have any information about that at this time. We talked about why there was a open out of control presence was here. They, they heard on our radio uh, the shooting come out, information about it, and they responded immediately. And they were extremely helpful in helping clear the school. Were they the first on the team? I don't know that information. Can you confirm it was four shots that were fired? I don't have that information at this point. One last question, guys. Was there a connection with any of these individuals with this school? We don't have that information at this point. I know you said no question. Last one, last one, go. Um, it, being that it's the beginning of the year, I'm curious if, if there are drills for lockdowns and if there was any confusion because of that. That'll be more for Thank you, guys. So with regard to lockdowns, our staff is briefed on how to handle these situations. Uh, and today was a good example of how they handled it very, very well. So uh, we, we are confident that we've got the right protocols in place. However, uh, we're going to be examining what happened today. We're going to be examining all the circumstances surrounding it once we get more information from the police. 
uh, on how it happened, et cetera, uh, and our response overall. And we're going to review all that and see where we can tighten things down to make sure that we're doing everything possible to ensure that all these situations are kept absolutely under control. We certainly hope nothing like this happens again, uh, but we know that this world is, is in a state right now that, uh, that this kind of thing is possible wherever you are. And so we want to make sure that, that our, our staff, our students are all well informed about how to behave, how to handle themselves, how to, how to act uh, in a situation where there is stress uh, or something else that's going on. So I hope that answers your question. Can you yes. talk about how and when parents were notified about this uh, It was pretty shortly after uh, the incident happened, uh, once we locked down, that we sent out a message through our communications channel, Parent Square, uh, to families to let them know that there's something happening. Uh, and then not long after that, we sent another one. Uh, once we knew that everybody was safe, uh, we let everybody know. So we've been we've been in close contact with, with our students, our staff, and our families, letting everybody know uh, what's been happening as, as quickly as we can. You know, that's that's uh, a question that gets asked a lot in in Oakland, uh, and that's something that we'll be reviewing along with all the other things we're going to be looking at. Here. I'm not confirming any details of what happened. Were any students involved? I'm not confirming any details of what happened. It, so there's no metal detectors on this campus? Yeah. Uh, currently there are not metal detectors on this campus. What kind of school resource officers are? I'm sorry? School resource officers. We've never had school resource officers in any of our schools. We used to have our own police department. We don't have any. Right. Right. Um, is o any OPD officers at the school? Like stationed on the campus? Yes. You'd have to ask OPD. Uh, no. Last question. All right, Are thanks. there any? Uh, We're done. Thank you. Good afternoon. Once again, you have been getting an update uh, from school officials and police. Uh, this is at Skyline High School, uh, which was put on lockdown after a report of shots fired. What we learned today it, just a few moments ago is that four people uh, were detained, two arrested, uh, no injuries out of the shooting. But uh, we heard from the police officer there saying there was evidence of a shooting and a handgun was found. And we do know now that that shooting happened on campus uh, right around 1130 this morning. Uh, we also heard that parents, uh, they were sent messages to inform them of what was going on. And once they knew uh, the kids were safe, they sent them an update as well. We're going to have much more for you on this. Our reporter Leslie Brinkley is on scene. She's been talking to parents, students and of course officials. Her uh, report will be on on ABC 7 News at 4, which you can watch here on our live stream or you can tune in live on air. Uh, we will have updates for you on our website as well and of course on the air throughout the evening. Right now we're going to take you back to regular programming in just about six minutes. Our next newscast is starting. Get answers at 3 p.m. So we'll see you here for that. And thanks for watching.